Hey folks, Edda from Brain Pulp TV doing a quick vlog slash update, even though this is the second time I get to record this because my audio settings were screwed up and there was no microphone audio going through in the recording the first time I did this, which of course happens when you're in a rush. Now I'm currently just trying to get ready and do all the stuff I need to do before I leave town for a little while with Travis, previously from Brain Pulp, who I'm sure you guys remember. And I wanted to give you an update and let you guys know what's happening with the channel, though, before I left. Now, I want to assure you guys that there is content, new content coming for the channel. A lot of my time recently has been put into creating the home studio. And if you follow me on Twitter, I've been posting updates about how that's been going, how that's looking, how the studio is looking. There's some pictures up there as well, too. I should mention this right now. We have an Instagram account now for Brain Pulp TV. My wife has been pushing me to do an Instagram account for a while because she is she is big in Instagram. I'm not at all. I'm more of a Twitter guy. However, I've finally taken her advice, opened up an Instagram account. Just search for Brain Pulp TV. You'll be able to find me on Instagram. There's only two pictures up. They're both about the how the studio is do going so far, how it's being built or how it's looking right now. So you can check that out and follow Brain Pulp TV now on Instagram. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been putting a lot of time into creating this home studio so I can shoot live gameplay as well as some product review stuff and some other stuff, some openings as well to have a dedicated space where I can just record that and fix all of the issues that we sort of ran into in the past in Brain Pulp, where when we were trying to record live stuff, we would run into the issue of battery power running out in one of the cameras, the microphone's not working properly, not having enough outlets, not having enough lighting, not having uh, proper lighting so that there's not glare on it. I wanted to fix all this and create a space where all of those problems would go away and we would just be able to, or we, I would just be able to go into an area, record and not have to worry about having to mess around with all that stuff. It's just everything's there, ready to go. And I have that now. I'm one piece away that should be coming on Monday. But regardless of whether that gets here on Monday, which is just some shelving, which anyway, I'll talk more about that another time. But this coming Tuesday, Travis is coming over and we're finally going to get to record some new episodes in the Mana Cave. Yes, Travis is going to be back to help me record some Mana Cave episodes. I'm super excited about that. Hopefully you guys are as well too. I'm going to try to get Steve back in the future as well. Maybe record some more Mana Caves with him. Maybe some other non-magic gameplay. I don't know. But Mana Cave is coming back very soon. As well, too, when it comes to future episodes of the Mana Cave, I'm going to be doing some Commander. Now, Travis and Steve are going to be coming back to do those episodes. Hopefully, I can't see why they wouldn't. So you're going to get to see some familiar faces. But we've also hooked another friend of ours on Magic, specifically on Commander. So our friend Jay, I'm going to try to talk him into doing that so we can actually have a four-player uh, game of Commander, at least one on the Mana Cave coming up sometime in the future. And then on top of the Mana Cave, I do want to shoot stuff that's that's sort of like not I don't necessarily want to do product reviews in the sense that I'll review any product that comes along, but products I enjoy that I think may help you guys out or that you may enjoy. I would love to sort of talk about that a little bit. So I'm going to probably try to do some of those in the future as well and just sort of talk about other tabletop games that I like. I may even do try to do a video where I've been slowly getting into miniature painting. So I may do a video or two on that so you guys can see what I'm working on. I have pre-ordered Twilight Imperium 4th Edition. So that is going to be coming sometime in by the end of the year. So when that comes, I would love to try to shoot a full game of that, though I'm not sure how that's going to work out because those games, I know the 3rd Edition, those games could go crazy long. So I'm going to try to do some sort of gameplay of that, though it will probably be condensed down to just sort of like the highlights of an entire game of Twilight Imperium. Also with Magic's new expansion, Ixalan coming out, there is going to be new Planeswalker decks, which I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be doing openings for, and those are going to be featured in new episodes of the Mana Cave coming out in the future. I'm also, if I do the pre-release, I'm going to be doing a pre-release report. And uh, yeah, there's, so there's definitely more Magic content coming. Also, if you haven't seen the previous videos I posted just, I think it was just last week, there was a uh, Magic Online gameplay video where I showed off the Regal Caracals deck that I've been sort of tweaking, and there's going to be a new one coming out for a crested sunmare deck, a horses tribal or horse tribal deck. Not really horse tribal, it's more like a deck that's just built around that one card to create those horses. But the gameplay footage that I have of that is actually against another opponent who I did not know at all, who was playing a regal caracal cat tribal deck. So I think it's gonna be kind of interesting. I get to play this new horses deck against a cat deck, which is very, very similar to the one you guys have already seen me play in the past. As well, I also released a top X topic of the top six mono blue counter spells that aren't counter spell and with iconic masters coming out part of that list is now false not not the numbering of it i still stand behind the the rankings of those spells in my opinion however there's a fact i give about number two 
which is no longer going to be true thanks to Iconic Masters. And in Iconic Masters, my number one pick is getting a reprint. So you can check out that video if you don't know what I'm talking about. And if you're not sure about Iconic Masters, that set was sort of somewhat spoiled a little bit at HasCon, the Hasbro convention thing that they did, where they revealed a bunch of new magic stuff coming up. And uh, they talked about some of the spells, some of the spells, some of the cards that are being printed in Iconic Masters, because some people there, some lucky people there, got to draft that a little bit. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I'm trying to keep this as, as quick and concise as possible. Now, I've also released a Dead by Daylight, another Dead by Daylight video. There's more of that coming as well. I got to do my test stream on Twitch of Magic Online, and that is something I'm definitely going to be doing on a regular basis. I've sort of been working out a schedule, uh, talking to my wife about when I can sort of put some more time into stuff like that, do some streaming, and right now my goal is to do streaming four times a week. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to pull the trigger on that, uh, on, so I can do it on that consistent basis. I'm hoping as early as next week. If not, it'll definitely be the week following that. So yeah, I haven't worked out exactly what time of the day or night they're going to be doing it. Most likely they're going to be late night streams. I'm not entirely sure. It's either going to be early morning or late night streams. For those of you in North America, I'm in Central Standard Time, so you can judge it from that. I'm thinking either I'm going to start at midnight or I'll be starting something early, like 7 in the morning. Now when I do stream, it's going to most likely be just one day is going to be Magic the Gathering, and then the rest are going to be sort of non-Magic related games. So if there are any games other than Magic that you'd like me to try or play, for now I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing Dead by Daylight. Uh, there's a couple of the games I sort of have in mind, but I'm not exactly sure how well they'll play up in the stream. But if you have any suggestions, please let me know, and I will definitely take those under consideration. Now as for the actual Magic stream that I'll be doing, I'm going to try to mix it up as often as I can. I like Popper, so I'm probably going to try to play a lot of Popper. I may play some standard because I've been sort of testing out more standard decks recently. I may dip my toe into modern, though I'm not a huge modern player. And occasionally I'll try to do a draft. Like when Ixalan comes out on Magic Online, I will try to stream at least one draft, if not an entire sealed league. Also, something I mentioned in previous videos, uh, there is still going to be a special thank you to you guys for getting us to 1,000 subscribers. It's been a while since we hit that mark, so we've, we've, we've since surpassed that. But I still want to do a special thing for you guys to thank you for that. That is going to be coming out not this coming week, but probably the following week. So yes, I have not forgotten about that. Trust me, I really appreciate you guys getting us to that milestone and i will show my appreciation very very soon and last but not least i mentioned in previous vlogs that i wanted to highlight a comment from the previous week when i do these and sort of discuss it a bit well this time i'm going to be doing something a little bit different instead of talking about a specific comment i wanted to talk about sort of a type of comment that's being left now if you've been following the vlogs you know that travis has since left brain pulp tv however there are still a bunch of his videos up on the channel his deck text specifically and his topic top top x topics now a lot of you have been discovering the channel for the first time leaving comments asking questions making suggestions for those decks you haven't been getting replies to those because i i still i i do try to mention it to travis when new comments come in but it's not as easy for Travis to sort of check in on those videos as it was when he was actually actively working on the channel. So if you've been leaving comments on deck text or top X topics that Travis has done in the past and you haven't been receiving responses, you're not being ignored, not intentionally anyways. We, before, when we were all working on the channel together, we would leave replies to the person who did the video because they would be obviously the authority on the deck tech they did, they did or something like that. So I'm going to try to pass on these comments to Travis as often as possible, but the responses may not be coming at all or as quickly, but that doesn't mean that I'm not reading each and every comment that you guys leave on the channel. So I don't want you thinking you're being ignored by me. You're not. You're technically being ignored by Travis. He doesn't mean to though. So please, please go easy on him. But I will, I'm, I'm going to be spending like the next couple days with him. So I will definitely pass along some of the comments you guys have left so that maybe, maybe, he'll have a chance to reply to them in the future. And I think that's just about it. Sorry if this seemed kind of rushed and rambly at points. I, I, As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it's the second time I've had to try to record this. I still have to edit it, and I still have to get a bunch of stuff done before I can leave town for a couple days. So yeah, this was probably not the most organized I've ever been when I've done one of these vlogs. However, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, doing everything you do to help support the channel. You can also check us out on Twitter, at TV. You can check us out on Instagram now, at Bra No, it's not at TV on Instagram. It's, I think, just a link. Just search for TV on Instagram. We should be there. There'll be a couple 
pictures of the studio. Anyways, you can check us out there now too. And now with all that said, take care everyone. I hope you have a wonderful evening, day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you all again very soon.